Owens along with Josh Childress and Jermaine Taylor. Taylor puts up a three and knocks it down. Well, early in last week's game, the ball hogs got up to a great start. Andre Owens last year, the only player to finish in the top five with a big three and points, rebounding and assists. Owens off to a strong start here in Toronto. The way he closed out, he was able to get to the middle and took the bump contact, still able to get inside. Now Evans with a strong move, his second field goal. Got to be up on him. Excited to show up in Toronto after what happened. I know we're excited and proud to be here, and uh, we want to continue having a great night for Big Three Week Six, fellas. All right, thanks, Mike. 13-10 lead for the Bullhawks. Now 13-12, one-point lead for the Bullhawks, looking to stay alive. Record of one and four over the first five weeks. This is Owens over Woods. Rebounded by Jamario Boone. This is Celine Stoudemire, who has checked in for the three-headed monsters. Stoudemire over Childress. Stoudemire. Right there, a little tricky with it. My move on the outside, it just kills you. Deshaun Stevenson behind the back after Scalabrini. Shot clock winding down as Stevenson fires and hits a three. Great ball movement, and sometimes she left. Eight points for Taylor. Three point lead for the Bulldogs. There is Boone off the mark from three. Taylor from three. And that will take us to halftime. 11 points for Jermaine Taylor. For the Houston Rocket and Sacramento King. Ball Hogs looking to stay alive. Lead the three headed monsters. 26 20 at the half. Owens and Taylor on the court as we begin the second half. Yeah, Childress takes it all away. But I, but I like the move because the, the three-headed monsters were playing for a pick and roll. Abdul Roof inside. Evans back out. And Woods hits a three. three. Well, but, but again, once again, yeah. Kenny, that's about the fourth layup that the ball hogs yeah, have missed. This is Kentel Woods. Into the paint. Reggie Evans up with the left hand and in. He has 13 points, and that's 11 straight for his team. Well, he, he initiates so much contact that time. He just. Here's Evans. Nice touch. And, and that's kind of tough because if you're Josh Childress, you really don't want to go out that far. Here is Taylor for three. Childress takes it inside. That's the way to keep the ball alive. That time I thought Jermaine Taylor thought about that shot too long. Well, right now, the way the NBA is, with everybody switching, I think it benefits and plays right into a great block right there. It plays into a guy like Reggie Evans that was limited offensively back in the past, but right now will be able to be a little bit effective, I would think, in the post. Taylor nails a three. By the way, our guy, Peter Greasy, has crunched the numbers. Here is Woods from three. Kept alive by Moon. Evans, 47-41 lead for the three-headed monsters. 20 points for Reggie Evans. And this time they're running with Reggie Evans. Evans back to Abduro. Here is Evans for the win. So the three-headed monsters remain unbeaten at 6-0. The ball hogs drop to 1-5. Uh, yeah, my move puts you in a situation. How do I guard the pick and roll? Josh Childress has to come up a little bit in order to force my move not to have an open shot. And as a smart, intelligent point guard, what do you do? Don't have the shot? Got an opening pocket pass? Easy money that time for Reggie Evans. Evans finishes with 24. The three-headed monsters outscore the Ball Hogs in the second half, 31-19. 6-0. Gary Payton's three-headed monsters heading to the postseason. Ball Hogs drop to one and five. Join us at the top of the hour. Three more games coming up.
on FS1. For Jim Jackson, Mike Rappaport, this is Kenny Albert. So long on Facebook Live.